Welcome to another video. We're here down in south of France, not far from the Pyrenees, and we've got Louis de Kaiser from Belgium out here in France building this beautiful tiny house behind him. And he's just going to give us a quick overview of the house and a bit backstory about who he is. So I'll let sure. you take it away. So, uh, yeah, like Joe said, I'm Louis de Kaiser. I uh, was born and raised in Belgium, but uh, I'm in love with the United States, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, we're here in uh, the Pyrenees in southern France, building this uh, 24 by 8.4 feet house, which is about 8 meters by uh, 2.5. And, a half. and uh, let me just give you a quick tour of what we're done here in the last two weeks. So, we enter this house from the side. We have two entrances, one in the front, one in the back. And uh, when we enter this door, we go into the living room. And when we enter the second door, you go into the kitchen and also the sleeping area in the back. But let me show you inside how that works. So as you can tell, the inside is not finished yet. But uh, where Joe is standing right now, that's the living room area, which we'll show you later. And here under this window, we'll have the kitchen. Uh, so it's a two and a half meter kitchen, not bad. And on this side, uh, the biggest wall we have will be a huge staircase that goes up to the two lofts that we have here and uh, that will you know, accommodate storage and, and all those things. Um, and when you follow me to the back, here we'll have a small bedroom, uh, bathroom uh, with a shower 80 by 80 centimeters and a toilet and a sink. And then here all the way in the back we'll have a sleeping area. So we'll build a wall right here and it's just a one person uh, bedroom basically. So the way to construct this house is we used a uh, two by eight for flooring. So we build a frame out of two by eights. We put insulation in it. Um, on the, underneath the trailer, we put OSB and a house wrap. And on the top of the trailer, on the, of the frame, we also used OSB, but a thicker one because it's the subfloor of the house. Then we constructed the walls with two by fours, um, which in France are really hard to get, but uh, it's possible. And uh, the roof is again, the two by eight with OSB on the top. Um, we finish the house on the outside with house wrap, so we go completely around to make it watertight. Uh, and then we put the, the bordage, like they call it here, the siding on the outside, which we're doing right now. Um, on the roof we used EPDM, which is uh, some kind of rubber, but it's a one sheet uh, material that you just glue down and it's, it's watertight and it will never, um, you know, nothing will, will leak. Uh, and that's basically it, the windows we got from a, a local place. Uh, which was really uh, handy because if you need to make those yourself it take longer to make than the actual house uh, and on the inside we just put pine um, boarding and that's uh, that's actually up next so so i just want to give you a quick overview of the tools we use the basics that you would really need uh, we start with the chop saw it's really important especially for the framing it goes quick and easy uh, you can get different models but this one's really nice because it slides forward so you can cut wider materials. So this is the circular saw. You will definitely need that. Uh, this specific model is a battery powered circular saw, which makes things really easy because you can use it everywhere. And it's also a track saw. So you can use different types of tracks like this one to cut straight and faster. The jigsaw, you'll need it um, just in a few spots to like, fix mistakes basically. And we have a router. This is a really small router and it's to chamfer edges. So it, it's really nice for um, like the siding. We'll show you where we use that. And um, yeah, other things you can use different bits and everything. It's a bit of a professional tool, but it's, it comes in really handy if you want to finish whatever you're doing and make it look professional. For nail guns, uh, we like to use nails and not screws because screws, they don't give. So a nail, like in a frame, it's a, it's a house on wheels, right? So if you're driving around, there's a lot of stress on the structure and, and a screw will actually crack and a nail will bend a little bit. So it's a stronger uh, way to construct things. We have this DeWalt, um, also again, battery powered nailer, because you have the pneumatic ones, which are also great, but you're always carrying a hose around. So this is uh, really handy. We use two different nails, uh, one that's nine centimeters long for the framing, and one that's five centimeters long for the OSB, the sheeting. And then we also have the second DeWalt nailer, which is a finishing nailer, uh, which we use for the outside siding and also on the inside for the boards. Um, it comes in really handy as well and for trim work and those kind of things. So that was it for this quick little tour. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. And if you have any questions, drop us a comment or an email and we'll see you guys next time.